Welcome, what is up, and thank you for tuning back into the Chaos Lair. This is a kind of a, a minute in MMA with uh, Chris Chaos. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, why the fuck not? Uh, I guess you're living under a rock or just not paying attention to what's going on in MMA. Uh, Ron Ronda Rousey, Rowdy, by the way, Ronda Rousey is uh, challenging Misha Tate this Saturday for the Strike Force 135 pound title. Now, there's a lot going on here. Misha Tate doesn't like it. I can't say that I blame her. Uh, Rhonda has come in. Uh, she's been, you know, moderately impressive, uh, but she's only got what four wins, something like that. Uh, and she is now moving down. A uh, moving down, down. A uh, a uh, weight weight class weight limit whatever. Uh, to to go ahead and fight Misha for the title. Uh, now this could this could be have been done for several reasons. One could be you know the weight cut is hard and and uh, or the the putting on the extra is hard. I don't know. Uh, maybe the cut is easier for her. Uh, I don't I don't I don't I don't know. Uh, I know she talked about it, but fuck, I can't remember. There's so much going on. Uh, but what I want to uh, really what I want to get at is you know. Misha hates what what she's saying and what's what's going on with her and uh, you know Ronda has taken the pro wrestling approach to this which I love and hate I I, I but I you know I probably ninety percent love it and ten percent hate it uh, I hate it because it's not traditional as far as traditional MMA goes uh, the way you hype a fight or whatever but a lot of people chill uh, rampage. Uh, Rampage Jackson has done it. Uh, Sugar Rashad Evans has done it, there, and there's been others that have done have done it this way to kind of put more into the you know the promotion of the fight and just talk shit and whatever. But uh, I mean, it's I think it's good for the overall product. Now, Misha hates it. Uh, Ronda's taking shots at Misha, but Misha's taking you know shots back at Ronda. So it's 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 come to this. It's going to be a great fight. Now, my my bold prediction, <laughs> my bold prediction for the fight is Misha is going to take her down repeatedly and going to grind her out and going to retain the title because Ronda, who is a master at judo, is not a wrestler. So, she may be able to take Misha down, but when she gets her down, what's she going to be able to do with her? Armbar? Is that is that all she it, 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 this kind of reminds me of the Chris Jericho uh, thousand and four moves, you know, where he 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 goes through all of his moves and he lists armbar like twenty times, armbar, headlock, armbar, uh, hip to armbar, you know, that's armbar, that's all she's got. So, what do I know? Uh, except for I'm pretty fucking good at predicting uh, styles, uh, well matches with different styles. So. Uh, there you go. Uh, I cannot wait. Shout out Misha. Shout out Team Alpha Male. Uh, of course, everybody knows I love Team Alpha Male. And um, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. I can't wait. Saturday night, big, big fight. Can't wait. Uh, let's. Uh, it's going to be making history. You know, it's it's main eventing. Uh, it's not the first women's match or fight, whatever that's main evented, but but. It's still a good one, and it's a damn good one too. Uh, at least it will be for Misha. <laughs> anyway, all right, that's all I got. Deuces and chaos is.